Apple has been the largest stock in the world and is one of the most successful company in human history. It's also Warren Buffett's most significant holding in Berkshire Hathaway. Apple's ability to generate returns for its investors is magnificent. As an example, in 2019, uh, the stock, despite being the largest company in the world, went up 90%. And in the following year, 2020, the stock went up another 90%. So iPhone sales revenue alone today surpasses the entire GDP of countries like Portugal and New Zealand. However, the market's shift towards artificial intelligence poses new challenges to Apple's growth narrative. So this is Apple's 10-year uh, stock chart. And today's video, we are going to talk about whether you should be buying Apple or not. But before we even talk about artificial intelligence, we need to first recognize the primary challenge Apple is facing today, which is how does it sustain its revenue growth? As the global smartphone market matures, right, there's a lot of Chinese competitors out there who can make cheaper phones. They sell them for cheaper, even though their phone isn't as good as iPhone, but they're good enough. So in terms of uh, bang for the buck, their phone can be better than iPhone for some of the uh, phone buyers. So iPhone right now is seeing slow down in its, uh, sorry, Apple is seeing slow down in its iPhone sales, which directly negatively affect its revenue because iPhone is its number one revenue driver. So this chart shows you the Apple revenue uh, chart uh, per uh, every fiscal year. So in the most recent fiscal year, which is 2023, we're seeing a 3% lower in total revenue uh, compared to previous fiscal year in 2022. And this chart shows you Apple's operating income cash flow. Their operating income uh, in fiscal year 2023 is 10% lower than fiscal year 2022. So we are seeing a slowdown in the company's revenue. And there has been recent news regarding iPhone sales in China uh, fell 30% in the first week of 2024. So, so as some people are saying, China is actually going through a recession right now. So uh, th th there's less money uh, available from the Chinese people to make those purchases towards iPhone. Right? And then there has been uh, more negative news circulating around. For example, this one, we're saying this Ming-Chi Kuo this uh, Apple analyst, he is projecting iPhone sales to drop by up to 15% in year 2024. So what all these are saying is right now, Apple is facing a slowdown already. Now, on top of that, there is a transition in the technology sector towards software or artificial intelligence. How is Apple doing in the AI front? Not too good, right? Apple has been lagging. Apple is behind on the AI game. For example, if you look at Siri today, how smart is Siri? It's very dumb compared to what? Compared to things like ChatGPT, okay? So Apple's slow adoption of AI trends shows a lack of innovation and it raises questions about the future growth potential of this company. Now, Apple seems like it's transitioning towards a value stock, kind of like Coca-Cola. But the problem is when a stock shifts from a growth stock into a value stock, it suggests a tempering of growth expectations, which in turn would impact a company's valuation because the valuation of a company is intrinsically linked to its growth prospect. This is a chart uh, of Apple versus uh, Apple versus Nasdaq 100, which is QQQ ETF versus Nvidia. Now, uh, it's the price performance of the three since the beginning of 2024, which has been uh, three and a half months so far. And what we can see is the red uh, Nvidia is up 77 percent. Uh, Nasdaq 100 is up 5.8 uh, percent. But Apple is down 
10.34%, meaning that for the past three and a half months, there is a 16% performance difference between NASDAQ 100 and Apple, and there is an 88% performance difference between NVIDIA and Apple in just over three months. And uh, in, for Apple, we are also seeing a, a strategy shift uh, for it to catch up with AI because it, it, it seems like Apple do recognize its issue of uh, lagging behind in, in this industry. Uh, and uh, Apple recently decided to discontinue its ambitious electric vehicle project known as Project Titan. Right? So the EV industry is actually known for being a very low margin industry. So this shift away from the EV industry into AI, it indicates Apple's willingness to correct its course and realign with the markets, uh, uh, with markets evolving demand. Now, however, the fact is the damage has already been done. So it's a correction in the in, in its direction but it is a mistake right it's a mistake by the executive of the company uh they made the wrong decision for the past 10 years this project titan has been ongoing for 10 years okay and uh, it's it's going to be challenging for apple to regain its uh, you know innovative edge in the already crowded ai space now the conclusion of this video is should should the investor buy Apple stock? I think Apple is still a solid stock to hold, even though its a grow, growth aspect uh, does not seem to be too optimistic at the moment. But uh, it's still a cash flow generating machine uh, with plenty of opportunity to catch up. They can buy some other, they can buy some small startup companies that's making. Um, you know, that's making um, good innovations in the AI front. They can acquire them and make them an Apple department or whatever. There is plenty of opportunities when, when the company is that rich. Um, and another thing for retail investors to, to, to consider is given Apple's substantial influence in the major uh, index ETFs like S&P 500, like SPY, like QQQ, most investors who have already have a considerable exposure of of Apple due to uh, the exposure to the to the index ETFs. So I personally don't think for those people it's time to to increase the exposure of Apple to buy by just by buying more of it, right? Because you already probably have a lot of exposure. So for me, if I have to give the stock a rating, I would give Apple a hold rating at the moment.